YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today we're going to discuss my SIG Energy controller, my SIG Energy SIG install and the gateway. So without further ado, we're going to go. So the piece of wood you see there is to keep your prying eyes. It doesn't stop it from getting wet. It stops people from noticing it. So in a second I'll remove it and then we'll Look at it one by one. I started my video talking about theft. Um, well, is it possible? Yes. Would it be easy? No. So let's start with, first of all, the controller or the inverter weighs 36 kilograms. These batteries weigh over 70 kilograms each. And then they're attached to one another. One another, so combined, 140, 170, 180 kilograms. And you need handles to carry them. So. If you don't have the handles, it's going to be difficult to steal. But let's say you're successful and you steal it. What does that mean for me? Well, I've lost an inverter. That's what it means for me. But you that stole it is totally useless to you. Why is it useless to you? Because this inverter is geotagged to this location. So if you move it from here and take it somewhere else, it would not work. Let me repeat that one more time. The inverter is geotagged to my location. So when I, when I commissioned it, I entered my address well the phone picked up the address and then that's the location that this inverter can operate in if you take it away from here it will not work so that takes care of that one so let's start by looking at what i have installed so i have installed an eight kilowatt controller and two eight kilowatt hour batteries for a total of 16 kilowatt hours when i installed this right i didn't have any extraordinary expectations i put it in i turned it on and guess what it did what it's supposed to do so let me take you through let's start with the batteries first of all these batteries um when i got them right i didn't know enough about the batteries but i read some things about it and one of the biggest things i wanted to figure out was what is the battery voltage so as you know sig this controller here is high voltage when you look you see it's operating at about 600 volts but the battery what can you guess what the battery voltage is i'll pause for a second and give you a moment to write down in the comment section what you think the battery voltage is so i'll count to 10 silently did you guess what it was so believe it or not the battery voltage is 30 volts the batteries unlike your traditional high voltage systems the batteries are connected in parallel so why is the connection done in parallel i'll come back and we'll discuss this 30 volts consider the inverter itself is operating at over 600 volts so unlike my other inverters you've seen my solax right the batteries are connected in series to give me higher voltages this is 30 volts that's 30 volts how am i able to get it to run at 600 volts right so these batteries are connected to a bus bar individually connected bus bar so if one fails right the inverter does not stop functioning the inverter continues to work so let's say this battery goes bad the inverter will continue to function and let me tell you what's so so special or unique about these batteries one they have seven sensors implanted within them and now we have um is it three packs and each pack makes up a group a group and each of those group is wrapped they have a thermal gel cell wrapped around them and then they have fire extinguishers and then there are pressure release valves so what's the purpose of all this? So fire extinguishes, if temperatures go beyond what the sensors um, consider to be normal, or if there's pressure, less, if pressure builds up, the pressure release valve vents it out. But if the temperatures get beyond a point where the sensors feel that it is going to be dangerous, the extinguisher goes off and that battery is dead. But even though you've killed this battery, the other one continues to function. So you'll be functioning at reduced capacity. It does not stop working so let me repeat that even the one battery has gone kablooey or has gone bad the system continues to function with the other one so you do not notice the difference one other thing i like about this is the form factor so you see this one this is eight kilowatts right the five kilowatt all the way to 25 kilowatt have the same form factor the same shape the same dimensions the only difference is the weight so the weight and the components inside is what's the difference so this one the six kilowatt version of this 
weighs 18 kilograms this is the 8 kilowatt version it weighs 36 kilograms it has 3 mppts um, we'll go into the details as to all the bells and whistles that it comes with so now one other thing about the siege energy that makes it unique um, they sell two batteries, the 8 and 5 kilowatts. I can mix and match. So if I want to do a system that is going to give me 13 kilowatt hours in capacity, I could do an 8 and a 5 kilowatt hour battery. So let me repeat that. I can mix and match batteries. I don't have to install 8 kilowatt batteries. I can install an 8 kilowatt battery, 8 kilowatt hour battery, and a 5 kilowatt battery. Now, one other thing I also like is, so right now, when we want to add a battery to an existing system, we have to discharge the existing battery down to what? the state of charge of the new one is so when you do that right you have to take a while if it's a, a rather large battery it will take a while to discharge if you're fortunate enough to come when the battery is already discharged and you wait for it to charge up to where it needs to be before you put the new battery on you don't need to do this with this you add you add a new battery and i could add up to four more batteries um so i can go to 48 kilowatt hours 64 kilowatt hours sorry I go up to 64 kilowatt hours. I can add batteries anytime. It could be this year, it could be next year, it could be tomorrow. It doesn't matter. The system takes care of itself. So let's get back to the issue I mentioned about the difference in voltage between the inverter and the battery. So they call them controllers, they don't call them inverters. So this controller, right, when you look in the app, it shows you that it's operating at about 640, 650 volts. But when you look at the battery, the battery is 30 volts. You're asking yourself, what kind of voodoo, what kind of magic did they do to go from 30 volts to 600 volts? And I was asking myself that question too. They use what is called a DC to DC rectifier. It's amazing. It's mind blowing, right? So even at 30 volts, 8 kilowatt hours, at 600 volts, still 8 kilowatt hours. It blows the mind, but that's, they figured it out and they got it done. And I bet you five bucks that other manufacturers will start doing this soon. So they have them. Um, 280 amp hour batch, um, battery cells inside these batteries and that's how they got it done so it's mind-blowing the technology is fantastic and like i said again the connection is um they connect the batteries connect to a bus bar they don't connect to one another so it's amazing so that's enough said about the battery the inverter is pretty much i mean there's not really much to tell you that's um you know extraordinary i mean you see the flashing oh, that's really neat this has three mppts it has a DC switch. It's IP66, sorry, so I could install this outside. The rain can beat the crap out of it, and it continues to function. And it has um, cooling fans as well, in addition to having massive heat sinks. Since I've installed it, you know what is, I've installed it, I've forgotten it, I don't even remember. I don't remember it. It's just installed and it does what it's supposed to do. So let's come back to the gateway. So this is an extraordinary piece of equipment. So if you recall, I told you the controller or the inverter here only has one AC cable coming out of it. On your traditional battery-based inverters, you have an AC in and an AC out. The AC in is for the grid to come in, and the AC out is for the, you know, for the inverter to power your loads. This has only one. So that same cable, that outputs also charges. However, you cannot connect this directly in off-grid mode and get it to work. You would not. You would just get an error message if you did it in grid tight mode, it would function, but in off-grid mode, it would not function. So to get this to work in off-grid mode, you need this box called the gateway. And if you saw the last video, I opened it and you saw what was inside the gateway. So this gateway is what makes this function in off-grid mode. Now, what's so special? So there's, of course, there's communication between the controller and the gateway. So once it recognizes, you tell it there's a gateway, it sees and it could show you when you look in the app it shows you the, get, the gateway is connected one of the things i like about this is in the app it shows you everything that's connected to it it shows you the individual batteries shows you the percentages of the batteries and shows you the voltage of the batteries so now we're connected to the gateway right the beautiful thing about this gateway is the switching time do you want to take a guess what the switching time is so let me count to 10 again Did you guess? Zero milliseconds. Zero milliseconds. What does that mean? So if you run your ATMs, if you run servers, you do not need a UPS. There will be no interruption. Even your routers, 
the routers will not switch off when you switch between grid and your controller and your batteries so zero millisecond switch time that is amazing that's what makes the system fantastic now we've not been able to test our generator to charge we couldn't get it. if you recall we've always had issues with gasoline generators so i wound up buying a diesel generator so i can test to see um, the grid coming in and letting the grid charge the batteries but the grid can charge the batteries but for the grid to charge the battery it has to go through this box the gateway so i have the very basic gateway the basic gateway um, has a uh, grid connection, inverter connection, it has three of, I think it has grid connection, inver inverter connection, and the load connection, that's it. And then it has the automat automated switch. The more complex one allows for two, in two inverters, a generator, the grid, and of course your EPS output. So you can put on a more complex one you can put up to two inverters in this so i'm really excited about what i've installed in the house and as i get more funds i will increase my batteries um 16 i went from 11.6 kilowatt hours in batteries to 16 kilowatt hours in batteries and these batteries are actually 16.4 kilowatt hours and you know i'm waking up every morning with 50 percent 55 percent sometimes i wake up with as much as um 60 percent in storage i'm keeping my room colder now so my room is at 23 right now today as you can see this is what the day has looked like all day and i'm wondering what tomorrow morning will be like i'm not losing any sleep because the thing has performed as well as i expected to so let me tell you one of the other reasons why i am going to use sig more um, I can do systems that look just like this, but with bigger batteries. The inverters are, they are the same form factor, but instead of a single phase, it will be a three phase. So this is the inverter portion. Okay. Um, I can do this up to 1.2 megawatt. So 25 kilowatts, right? 25 kilowatts, six batteries each, and I could repeat this 48 times. I don't need to build anything special to do this. You know, when you're doing large systems, you're going to do a lot of civil works to accommodate the weight of the items you're putting in. I don't need to do that. All I need to do is this, that's it. I do this and I repeat it across the space I'm going to install it in till I get to 1.2 megawatt. Then I get a gateway that's much more massive than this one. And the gateway is what all the connections go into and then I supply power to the client or the building. So it's very exciting. Oh, one last thing, 10 year warranties. They come with 10-year warranties and it's a replacement warranty not a repair warranty so i'm very very excited this has been an incredible ride and i can't wait to tell you more about it so if you like what you see do give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed click the subscribe button many of you that watch my video about 70 of you are not subscribers so please click the subscribe subscribe button once again this is dr solar coming to you from lagos nigeria